coming to you today to show you a brand new collection from Simple Stories. This is what my husband got me for Christmas. Oh my God, I can't even with this collection. I am in love. It is literally probably my favorite Simple Stories collection ever. I cannot wait to show it to you. But anyways, we ordered before Christmas and there was a lots of freebies with that. So of course... Awesome. I got the free scrapbook and cards magazine, which I always, always love getting. It's just got so much inspiration. I love looking through these things. All right, let me put that to the side. And it came with a free stamp set from Doodlebug. How cute is that? Oh, let me get rid of the glare. Isn't that cute? Um, yeah, I like it. And then you also got scrapbook.com scissors, small precision, four inch. So very tiny, comfortable, comes with a protective sleeve. Oh, look. Yeah, definitely fussy cutting scissors. Yeah, they cut pretty good. I'm just pretending to fussy cut a flower right now. They're all right. Okay, are you ready? Look at this. Oh my God, Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Winter Woods. I cannot even, I've already taken it out. I had to look at it. I just could not help myself. I couldn't. So I take all my papers out of the plastic that it comes in and I have these record sleeves. I'll link them below. I have um, other videos on my channel showing how I organize. I'm going to organize this. I just got it. A peek through it I could not help myself so I got the 12 by 12 collection kit and I got the collectors essential kit the essential kit comes with 188 pieces and the collection kit comes with 97 pieces so this comes with the paper and a sticker sheet however the essentials kit comes with all the paper a sticker sheet a pack of ephemera chipboard and I think another ephemera. Look, 12 sheets, paper, cardstock stickers, simple pages, page pieces, 11 die cut pieces, and 6x12 chipboard stickers with 34 stickers, woodland bits and pieces, which is 46 die cut pieces. So this is a better purchase, in my opinion. I just think it's super pretty. And I, I just, I can't with this collection. I can't. It's just so pretty. And I get both kits because I want two pieces of each paper. And there was a couple papers that I was in love with. So I got a single sheet of those. So this one right here, I got three of because I wanted to make sure that I had the journaling cards for all my layout. So I got three pieces of that. And the back side looks like this. How cute. These are fantastic journaling cards though. I love them. These colors are just something else. Here are the four by six cut aparts. And they come with both horizontal and here's a vertical one. This could be used vertically too, I think, really. Okay, so pretty. <clears throat> so I do have two of those. Look at that blue. It's just such soft, beautiful, beautiful colors. It's got polka dots and it looks like, you know, some distressing on there for you already. Four by four cut apart sheet. Oh, this colors in the wood grains. Oh my God, I can't wait to use this. Look how pretty. I think that's um, deer antlers. But these, uh, the neutrals. I wish my entire house looked like this. It kind of looks like winter shiplap, doesn't it? Four by three cut aparts. I'm going to have to use this. <sighs> Love it. And then here's the snowflakes on this side. Oh my God. And look how pretty that is. This would be cool to tear and use as a border piece. This side, it's kind of like a pinkish purple. Really? Look at that. Oh my God. And look at the stripe. Isn't that beautiful? Here's that side, the polka dots. I, I, I just don't have any words for this collection, which is odd for me not to have words. Look how pretty that is. 
vintage. I'm not really so much into that, but I love this side. And oh my God, look at this. Look at this wood grain. And it's got print, text print in the back. See it? That's my favorite. Love it. Got two of those. Some snowflakes on this side. That's perfect. And this one is a plain wood grain. The same as this, I feel, except without the birds. And this also has the text print behind it. Look at that. Oh my God. And look at this one. This is one of my favorites. So beautiful. And beautiful mint color with some birds. And it looks like, you know, like some brick wall distressing a little bit, I think. That's what it looks like to me. I don't I don't know if it has words in it or if it looks like a brick wall. It might be words. But you know how you get the brick wall stencil? I like that. Look at this. Oh my god, I can't. Oh, and this color is everything. Isn't that just beautiful? It um is coming across a little brownish on the camera, but it's got a beautiful green hue to it. It's just absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. Definitely another one of my favorites. And this one I cannot even with this piece of paper. Will you look at this? I mean, genius. This is a genius piece of paper. Look at the tree with the snow. Oh my God. This right here is one of my favorites too. I, I mean like every single piece of paper. Sometimes when you get a collection, there's like maybe one piece of paper you don't really care for. So you just use the other side or back your photos with it or something. But every single piece of paper in this collection is oh my God. Look at this, the cluster. It would be super cool to lay this out and try to make your own cluster that mimics something like this. Wouldn't that be cool? Text here, distressed snowflakes there. Oh my God, is that not beautiful? I can't, I got three pieces of that. And this beautiful mint color. Look at that. I, oh my God, I just, I, I literally do not have words for how gorgeous this is. I really don't. Okay, wow. Next is I put all my sticker sheets in a sleeve and each one of those kits came with a sticker sheet. So, and then I got another sticker sheet, I think. I'm not really sure, yeah. So each kit came with its own sticker sheet and then I bought a third one. Well, my husband bought it for me, but look at these. Frames, hearts, some words for titles, clusters, and the tickets, and the tabs, and the sentiments, per usual. I am in love with Simple Stories tickets. I really am. I think they just make layouts super pretty. Look at that. Oh my god, so I have three of those. And then this is, I got two of these, the banner sheet. I love the banners. This banner sheet, the adhesive brads, and the chipboard frames is what makes me absolutely fall in love with everything Simple Stories. I mean, the whole thing really, but those are my three favorite things from Simple Stories. Look at these. What is even going on right now? It's so pretty. Like, look how gorgeous are our pages going to be if we have this. And I do. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love. Let me put this away. This is the basics kit, which is basically like the cardstock that goes with the kit. I put that in its own sleeve too. I got two packages of this because I knew I was going to need it. I like to use it for the backgrounds and also to help with borders and also to back photos. But they're so pretty. It looks sort of, if you look really close, it looks like a bunch of old envelopes together, doesn't it? I don't know if you can really tell. A couple little stamping distressing on there. This pretty green. Look at this brownish color. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's four of those. And then this teal. One, two, three, four of those. This teal. Pretty. This side is like a distressed white. 
But see how it looks like envelopes? You can see it a lot right there. My cat has the complete cuckoos right now, so I apologize. And here is a pretty, like, mauvish pink. So there should be four of these. Yep. And then this darker color on the back. This would be perfect to back photos, but I'm in love with this color. Oh, the washi tape. I can't even. Will you look at that? I'm not really into this one, but if you ripped it, you wouldn't be able to tell what was on there and just bordered stuff with it. Oops, sorry about the glare. Look at that. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay, I got two packages of enamel dots. Just look at those colors. Enamel dots look like candy to me. I love them. Two of those. And then I got three packages of the Woodland Bits. Um, there's 46 in each. Um, I got an extra and then it came each, um, no, I think I got two extra and then this came with the collector's essential kit. But look, let me see if I can get this up here without glare for you to look at. I'm going to leave it there for a moment so you can take it in. If I can hold my hand steady. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. So I have three packages of those. Bits and pieces. I mean, just look at those little skates right there. And you can tell there's tickets and stuff in there. Let me do this where there's no glare. Let me see. Okay, that's pretty good. Look at all those. It looks like a snow bingo card. There's like three of those. Is that not perfect? I can't even. How pretty. No, I can't even. And then what do we got here? Uh, I have two of these. I think one came with a kit and I bought an extra. Um, there are the longer, bigger pieces and the page pieces is what they're called. And then on the back, they give you an example of how you could make a layout using one of their background papers and one of the Simple Stories templates. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen those before. Let me grab it. I have them on a hook. A metal magnet hook right on the side of my cart so I can just grab them super quick if I wanted to all different sizes they come in and each one is numbered um, design 1 2 3 4 11 I don't know how many they have but this is 11 I have 4 3 and 9 is what I have and it just helps you make really cute cute pages and it comes out perfect using those templates. So it shows you here using two of their templates of how you could use these to make a page if you wanted to. But I basically just get it for extra ephemera, to be honest with you. All right, and then here's the brads. I got two packages of brads. And I'm going to show it up close so you can see. Oh my gosh, the glare. I just want you to be able to see all the little sayings in the pictures on those snow day chill out look at this winter scene right here let me see oh my god and then these are chipboards down here on the bottom i'm in love with simple stories adhesive breads they're just so beautiful here are the chipboard pieces they're called chipboard clusters and very, very thick. Very thick. I think we should take these out. I want you to see these. Look at this. Oh my god. Seriously, this one's my favorite. <laughs> ice, ice, baby. Remember that song? That's how old I am. And this one. That little person is super cute. It is not me at all. I would probably cover that up, but... Maybe somebody will think that's just wonderful. This is also one of my favorites. Look at that. It's so pretty. You could actually, if you were super skilled, take a craft knife and cut the middle of that frame out, put a picture in it. That would be cute. So that is the chipboard clusters. Here we have the layered stickers. There's like three layers. I'm going to take it out of the packaging to remove the glare so we can see them they're pretty let me show them to you so they come with three layers this top layer is usually small and then the bottom layer is 
um, bigger. And then the third layer, they have a piece of foam tape in there with a reprint of the second layer. So if you wanted to, you could take this off this foam dot and just have two layers. It's up to you. But oh my God. And these are like soft paper. They're not cardstock or shiny or anything. Okay. Next is the sticker book. Look at that. Ooh, I can't even. I love these. They're very thin in case you've never seen Simple Stories stickers before. But I love how thin they are. You have to peel them off slowly and carefully or they will rip if you don't have, if you've never had these before. But because they're so thin, when you put them on the Simple Stories paper, it kind of makes it look like it's part of the paper and it just ends up being absolutely gorgeous. So we have Elfas here, Sentiments here, Snowflakes. That's super pretty. And two more Elfas. Snowflake circles, cute. I mean, there's some super vintage in there too. Let me see if you can see. See the couple, isn't that pretty? So if you had some vintage photos, totally perfect tabs and circles. These are excellent for layering or journaling. Some more sentiments and snowflakes. And then sentiments and tabs. Love these things right here. And then you get a sheet of cluster sticker strips, like always, with extra sentiments mixed in. Got this pink one on the bottom. And then you always get a sheet of circles. These are bigger and these are smaller. They're great. These are awesome if you take these off and then put them on a piece of um, spare cardstock and then punch them out with your circle punch. It makes it a piece of ephemera. Oh, so nice. Some statements um titles you can words you can use i couldn't think of the word banners here and that's that and then let me put this away here is the six by eight paper pad um there's 24 papers i imagine it has one of each and then duplicates so that's pretty these are be awesome for six by eight albums let me just go like this super quick. It's probably just a reprint of all the papers we've already looked at, but in a smaller size. Like I would put this in a six by eight album all by itself, maybe with two little small three by five photos over on the side or something. Oh my God, I can't even with this collection. It's so beautiful. Together like winter and a sweater. We go together like winter and a sweater. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, my favorite. I love that piece of paper. Hello, winter. Oh, that's pretty. Love that. And then you get um, four by three cut aparts in here, too. Gray snowflakes, some more four by threes. That's great. Warm winter wishes. Oh, I don't. Are these doubling? I don't think so. Maybe that might be a duplicate. Look how beautiful. Yeah, I think now they're, yeah, they're doubling up now, duplicates now. But, yep, two of each one of those in the 6x8 paper pad. I got two packages of the chipboard frames. I always get, like, one package of the chipboard frames, and then I run out quick because I love them, and I use them right up. And then I'm like, oh, I should have got two packages. So this time I was smart enough to get two packages. And we're going to go through that because favorite gotta see them that says hello loved this most with one of those little bingo cards and this one goes this way it says hello winter pretty pretty this you can do two photos i wonder what the dimension is on that let me see if i can get a ruler my little silhouette cameo ruler so you would get a, probably a four and a half by a little over two and a half photo, which is an odd size. So I would think that, hmm, I don't know. You could either print a four by three or a four by six and kind of crop it down to fit, or you could put it behind uh, or your photo on a piece of pattern paper and then put it in that frame. That would be pretty. 
These are cute. Looks like three by threes to me. Or three and a half by three and a half. It could be two. Super pretty. I love that bottom strip on paper on the bottom. Oh, this has a nice deer. It says winter. Wonderful. Sure is. And then here's that cute little pink outfit person. Snow day. Oh, pretty. Oh my God. I can't even. Here's the stencil winter snow that comes with it. That is beautiful. I cannot wait to use that. It'd be really cool if we put um, Nouveau winter white glacier paste through there and made sparkly snowflakes on the background. Oh my god. Here are the foam stickers, which are basically like the titles. These are very thick and they're puffy stickers, but they're very hard and stiff. And one thing with these, um, when you get these, take them off there carefully. Do not bend them because they do end up getting a crease in them. And that drives me crazy personally. But look how pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Nice. I'm trying to do it so there's not that crazy glare from my overhead light, which is hard to do. There. Okay, so there's those. I'm going to put that in here. Um, I'm running out of room here. I ended up with two chipboards. I bought one and one came with the collector's essential kit. So here's this. We'll start at the top. Trying to, no glare. Look at that banner. Hello with hearts. I love that one. That one's great. There's just good titles in here, too. So, I got two of those. All right, people. Now, let's go ahead and put this away in our drawer. I know people like organization videos, and I just did a video on how I get a new collection and how I put it away. So, I'm going to link that below. I'm not going to go through every single detail with this one, but we will do most of it together. We'll start off with this. These are sleeves, 6x12, that I use. Very thick. You can bend them. No big, no problem at all. And I hate this plastic packaging. I just got done watching an awesome craft room cleanup. You know how you have to clean up and deep clean after Christmas scrapbooking because you have glitter and glue and collections and stuff everywhere from Virginia Walker. She just posted it. I'm going to put it below because it was super fun to watch and she had a whole bunch of stuff in her video that I totally wanted to get. So I'm going to go back and see if she left some links. She had on the organizing pockets with the, it, it was like an envelope and then you close it for like your ephemera and stuff. And she had blending brushes that I wanted, and I want to try the American Crafts white paper that she uses to cut out her cut files. So, okay, that's in there. So, what we'll do here is get all of this stuff back out that I just showed you, because I have made a mess of it, putting it to the side. So, I want to get some of those envelope containers that she has because then I would take everything out of this plastic stuff that it comes in. I don't know where the plastic went to this. I'm not sure. But anyways, what I would probably do, and I'm not being very organized. There it is. Okay. Is I'm going to throw this away. And when I get two of something, I always end up putting it all in one package to reduce the number of items in my drawer. And I don't think I can put them all in at once. Usually the packaging will hold two or whatever. I don't need this. I'm going to throw that away or recycle it. Okay, so here's a sticker book, chipboard frames, 6 by 8 paper pad. Those are pretty much the same size. And then I'm going to go ahead and put these back where they were. So I put the bigger ones in the back. And then these two in the front. And then I put my 
template from Simple Stories. It has um, a 2x2, two two, a 3x3, three three, a 4x6, four a 4x4, four four, and a 4x3 little clear template. So you can put it right onto your photos and see through it of where you can cut. I put that and then I hang this like this on my cart, literally right next to me. And that's a magnetic hook that I got from Amazon. So I can just grab it super quick if I need it. Okay, here's my record sleeve that I always use. I separate my cardstock and my sticker sheets and my pattern paper from each other. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these back into their respective sleeves. Here's my drawer. I always put my cardstock on the bottom no matter what collection it is, get the air bubble out. Then I put my stickers, and then I put my pattern paper, air bubbles out, and then I will take the six by 12 items and put them over here. So here's the card chipboard, I almost said card stuff. These are, see how it doesn't fit in there? Just a slight bit too big for my drawers. So I always come in with my cutter and you don't need the top. It's, I mean, it doesn't really serve a purpose. And now it fits perfectly. I put all my six by 12 items on here and then this side will be for the bigger things. So then I will come in with, where's that stencil? I feel that the stencil the chipboard frames, the 6x8 paper bed, and the sticker book are relatively the same size. So I'll put these all over here to the side. That's bigger, so I'll end up putting on the bottom. I'll put this on the top because otherwise it'll be uneven where these are flat. And then that will be more flat. And then I would probably end up putting this here. And then I just take it and I slide this in carefully. This stuff sometimes falls off, like this one moved a little bit. And I just go ahead and put it in the back of the one packaging. So now I have two together. That here, I'm going to do the same for this. And then I'm definitely taking this out. I usually keep my washi with the collection right when it's brand new because I'm so excited about it. Recycling that. Um, I keep it all together with it because I'm going to start using this immediately and I don't want to get up and go to my washi tape organizer to get this and I will forget <laughs> that this has washi tape. So I'll keep it with for a while. And then we have three of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the four by six photo cases. I grab these at Tuesday morning when I can, or you can get them on Amazon, or you can wait for scrapbook.com to have a sale. So I will take these right out of here because always the ephemera gets stuck on the tape from this. have a second one that I am going to go ahead and put this in. Make sure nothing's stuck to that. That right there. Trim a tiny bit off of that as well. Okay. And then another thing you can do is once I've only got one pack of this, I might grab another one the next time I go to scrapbook.com or cherry on top or whatever. Spread this out so it's not so high in there. Once you use it, you can go ahead and cross off what you've used so you're not searching for something that you've already used in a different layout. And for these, I'm going to put these all over to one side like this. And then I'm going to put my washi in here. Okay, this one super thick, so that's not going to work. So I'm going to have to do that. Okay, close that up. Put this in here like that. 
And then what I want to do is I'll show you on the outside of my drawer. I'll put pictures at the end of my craft room. I always make a little cluster for the outside of my drawer and I put it right here so I know that it's simple stories and I know what collection is in there. it is and what manufacturer it is and then I'll go ahead and put it right inside my cabinet I'll send I'll put some pictures of that at the end what my drawers look like in my scrap box okay so there you go I hope you liked it this collection is wonderful I hope you enjoyed seeing it if you had not yet seen it already and thank you so much please like and subscribe to my channel if you wish and if you wish it would be awesome if you would follow me on Instagram Okay, thank you my friends. I'll see you again soon. Bye.